and refreshes the gameplay experience. I have never seen EA Sports say that. Ever, ever, ever until now. EA Sports just launched a massive bomb. This could make or break even more FC24. Wanna build your dream squad in FC24 or open the biggest packs in the store? Get the cheapest coins on the market from u7buy.com with super fast delivery time and use the code OVI for 6% discount. Link is in the description. I told you guys in a previous video I'm on vacation and uh, I, I just couldn't help myself when I saw what EA Sports launched. I was like, yeah, we gotta go through this because I've seen it on Twitter, gave it a fast read and boys, it looks I don't want to say fantastic because I don't know if it will be that good, if it will truly have a positive impact on the game. But what I do know is that it has the chance to have an incredible impact on the game. New animations, um, they've been toying with the play styles, a lot of changes. Let's go through them. And before getting started, drop a comment below and let me know your top three things that EA Sports needs to change in order to, who knows, save FC24. If not FC24, the entire franchise, because if they continue like this in FC25, they're a bit in trouble. So let's go with the beginning. Okay, this update adds 86 new star heads and refreshes the gameplay experience. I have never seen EA Sports say that ever, ever, ever until now. Through playstyle tuning and legendary CPU AI difficulty. Why do I care about legendary CPU adjustments? I do not really care about that. Also, we're adding in some new animations. This might be even more important than the playstyle tuning. The new animations that EA Sports is adding might have a huge impact on the way that the gameplay feels. And let's get into what they are actually doing. When it comes to playstyles and playstyles plus, we want to maintain a strategic difference between them. So we've made several turning changes. Our goal here is to ensure the many, that meaningful different op options are available to players when building their squads. Oh, bro, come on, man. That, 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 everyone is going for the meta cards. You, you can't change that, I think. With Playstyle and Playstyle Plus helping uh, offer greater variety, I don't think that you can do it because there is only there are only, in my opinion, three big play styles in this game. Huge finish up plus, it's so important. Man. Then you've got long ball pass plus again, so important. And for the center back, best without discussion, in my opinion, anticipate plus. Those are the three big ones. The rest, you, I can go with or without. So Tiki Taka lowered accuracy and pass quality for first time passes. Pink Pass decreased accuracy. Pink Pass Plus increased accuracy. So they are making Pink Pass Plus the driven passes. Damn, even more accurate. Interesting. Jockey reduced maximum possible sprint jockey speed. And there's an example here with Jockey Speed. Okay, it's a tad slower from what I see. Yeah, you can see it a bit, like one meter. Uh, press Proven. Reduced shield effectiveness with the ball. Press Proven. Yo, so basically what they've done here is they've reduced, let's call it the base play style and they've increased the effectiveness of the playstyle plus. Mm -hmm. Okay, long ball pass and long ball pass plus decreased accuracy of crosses. Of crosses? Okay. Power header, increased ball speed from lowered, lower powered headers. Dead ball, reduced set piece preview line length. And now, significantly, significantly adjusted the playstyle below. Power header plus reduced ball speed. <laughs> relentless and relentless plus reduced amount of half time and extra time stamina recovery. That's good. Um, bro, I've seen an experiment with someone using players with relentless or relentless plus and constant pressure. They were not losing 
stamina mana. They were recovering stamina immediately, so it's good they're fixing this. Aerial plus, reduce the amount of added running jump height. This includes jogging jump height as well. Power shot and power shot plus, reduce ball speed from power shots. Why do we care about CPU AI changes? If you're playing squad battles or career mode and you might be interested in the CPU AI changes, but for online play, I don't think they impact that much. The important stuff that we want is the new animations based on volumetric data. So, um, EA Sports in title update 11 brings the additional of several new animations based on volumetric data. Interesting. Shooting animations. So, we're gonna have this new one, this new type of shot. So, th there's a new type of shot in the game that will be interesting to test. New skill move. Uh, we are adding a new skill move based on capture from Vinicius Jr. in real life matches. The idle step over. Okay. That's more of a visual impact on the game. I don't see this being that effective. New clearance animation. Okay, I don't want to see that in the game to be honest because AI is still very strong. This is gonna be crazy if it gets saved on a usual basis. So, with the animations, bro, but the, 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 it's not possible. It's not possible to be only three. Wait a second. There, for sure. No, there are only th three. Yeah, there are only three. So, big changes are three animations. The clearance, that means maybe AI more OP over there. Uh, a new skill move. And we do get this new type of shot. Might be a new meta. Let's see. The, the, the shot is interesting. Skill move, not that much. Now, what is important, in my opinion, is the way that they've been playing with the playstyles. Some of them being decreased, and then, then the playstyle plus of that certain playstyle, that's uh, that same playstyle being a bit even more increased. Um, and this is interesting with long ball pass and long ball pass plus decreased accuracy of crosses. So uh, still the long ball pass uh, will be the same, and then the crosses will be a bit decreased. Now players like Holland might lose a bit of value due to the fact that. Uh, the power header plus has reduced ball speed. This will be interesting to see how it impacts. For sure, it is one of the biggest gameplay changes throughout the year launched by EA Sports. Maybe they saw they have a problem with the game. They want to save it. It will remain to be seen. Drop a comment below, guys. Let me know what you think about it. Can they still save FC24? I sure hope so. Uh, wish you all an absolutely fantastic day boys see you in the next upload ciao ciao